Welcome everyone to the HWBOT World Tour 2016 Latin America. We are here in Brazil, in Sao Paulo, on the campus party. That's the ninth campus party here in Brazil. And for this show, the Tech Talk Q&A Ask Us Anything, I'm being joined by Fabio from Techmundo. Hey, Fabio. Hello, Truffman. This is Fabio from Techmundo. Hello, everyone. So we will do the show in uh, in English for for this one. So if you have any questions, just let us know on the live chat of Twitch. And um, I want to discuss a little bit more uh, with you about uh, how it is in Brazil, like how it is the state of uh, computer DIY and how the people the, the do use their computer here in Brazil, because that might be quite different from what we have uh, ever, uh, anywhere else in the world. Uh, before that, we are at the HWBOT World Tour 2016, and we want to give a quick look at the actual score that have been submitted in the uh, amateur competition. So as, for, uh, as you guys know, the amateur competition is the uh, HWBOT World Series for amateur, and they will qualify to compete tomorrow at 1 p.m. local time to win some awesome prizes. So you were with us just before, uh, just a few hours ago, with us on the on the live chat, Fabio, and we were discussing about the the few amateurs. Do you have a favorite amateur so far? Uh, actually, I, I didn't see the, all the names, but uh, I saw there's a a, pre, a pretty fight in the in the first positions. Uh, we still have the the one guy with uh, two seven nine, uh, Grillo Soldier. Yeah, Grillo Soldier have been in the lead since actually yesterday yes. evening, I think, or yeah, yesterday evening. He he, he put a very good score. And if we have uh, a look at the score as well, it was at four point three gigahertz, but he was very high. The score. Uh, before the the particip the participants uh, start the 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 training, do you ask them anything? Because maybe this guy knows something. He's three points ab above all the guys. <laughs> <laughs> so usually we ask them they know already about overclocking and if they already tried. Most of oh, the okay. times they heard. Most of the times some of them heard about overclocking, but they never tried. And I think this guy knew a little bit about uh, tuning the system, but I don't think he knew okay. that much about overclocking because with the system that he had, the exact same system can do 4.45. Okay. So. It could be even higher than that. Oh, may maybe he's a little bit lucky. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, but that's quite interesting to see uh, all these guys to um, actually no put out some decent score for uh, for the event. So uh, yeah, first place Grillo Soldier, second place with two seventy six two hundred and seventy six points. We have uh, Gabriel X P C and Manolo Luigi. Okay, there's remember. a there's a draw in here. Yeah, there's a draw in there, and uh, Manolo Luigi was actually one of the guys that I did train, so I'm quite happy to see him in the, in the top there. Okay. Then we have uh, H. Perrin at 275 points. Uh, if we check the, the frequency, he was at 4.6 gigahertz. Oh, so pretty he could high. So he could have got a, a better score if he was tuning the system like, the, uh, like Grillo Soldier did. Yes. Grillo was at uh, 4.3? Yeah, Grillo was at 4.3 gigahertz. Oh, there's a big difference. So, HP Ring should uh, try a little bit, bit more. Yeah, the, and uh, if they are qualified, we'll see in the final tomorrow at 1 p.m. local time uh, if they can actually uh, compete against each other. And we will see yes. what they did to achieve the, the better score. Yes, may maybe tomorrow the, this guy with 4.6. Maybe he can turn turn the game and get a, a better score. We'll see. We we do hope for them, and that would be one versus one uh, tomorrow. So they have to be at least to, to just do better score than the other guy. Um, then we have uh, Joavo Vitor one two three, and he was at four point five. Here. So that that was quite close for the four point six. Uh, the score is uh, one point uh, lower. So 275 to 274, and that's a tie with uh, two other person, Pixies and Oscar Mayadia. Yes. And and here here we can see the, the difference when when one guy knows how to tune the the system, because we have a uh, higher frequencies at the lower scores and uh, 
a lower uh, fragrance in the in the first place. Well, uh, yeah, that would be interesting to see tomorrow what uh, Grillo Soldier did to this to his system to actually uh, reach out that better score. Um, we won't pass on the older score of the people because there are there is plenty of them. If we can just yes. uh, have a look. There's more than 110 people that did participate in the workshop, and so far this is the biggest workshop we ever did. That is the first time we go above the one uh, the 110 oh, mark. And, yeah. and we have uh, 12 more hours. And tomorrow, there is tomorrow, tomorrow morning. the guys can try again. Yeah, tomorrow morning the guys can still. Uh, there's actually still people um, testing the system and uh, doing the workshop at this time. And it's like it's 9, 9 p.m. local time here, and there's still people here to uh, to do that. The, the schedule was completely booked for today, and is yes. almost completely booked for tomorrow morning. That's, that, that's, that's a, crazy. That's a big uh, a big thing. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's it for the uh, Latin America amateur qualifier. The final will be tomorrow, and that's going to be one versus one. And we will be commenting live everything here on LCTV with you. Actually, that's going to be myself and you, yeah. Fabio, commenting. Uh, so, let me ask you one, one more thing. Just one more sure. thing. Uh, all the guys in, in the square, in the ranking, they are all from Brazil, or we have uh, another, another person from outside, at, like at Colombia in, or Venezuela? I don't know. We had Carlos. I don't know from Colombia. So Carlos from Colombia. But he is in the top eight. And he's not on the top eight. I think it's like 14th or something. Oh, no, even more than that. He's 26. 26. So otherwise, it's all from Brazil. Yeah, seems like it's all from Brazil. Only Colombia. Oh, that's a shame. Guy. It should it should be, be be nice to see people from other countries like Chile, Colombia, Venezuela, Argentina. There's a lot of countries in in Latin America. Well, maybe tomorrow they will have some uh, other people from other countries that will yes, join, join yes. in the uh, join in the show. So uh, yeah, except Carlos, everyone was Brazilian here. And if you guys have any question about the workshop, how we do that, or any question regarding your overclocking, you can always ask us on the live chat. There's some people from the live chat, Aid Sokolon and DX4 Pico. Thanks guys for sticking around. This is uh, appreciated that you are you 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 are here and uh, participating in the discussion. So Fabio. Um, I want to discuss a little bit more with you because you are from uh, your editor for Techmundo and you are part of the uh, yes. responsible for the hardware and overclocking side of the of the site. And that's the first time I come to Brazil for this kind of event. That's the second time ever for me in Brazil, but that's the first time for this kind of technology event here. And I have a few questions for you. So f first of all, uh, we we s we find out that there's a lot of um, uh, of Price, like the price is very expensive here when you want to buy the uh, the hardware. So wh why why is that like this? Because it's supposed to be cheaper usually when we go to different countries. Yes, uh, the the hardware pieces here are very expensive. Uh, we have the taxes, then we have the difference between the currencies. You know, uh, like uh, our currency is like one quarter of dollar. So. If dollar, it, you have one dollar and four real to get one dollar. So we, we have a, a bad situation right now. Uh, it, it was a little better in a few, back in a few years, uh, like in 2011, we have like the one, one, one and a half real for one dollar. Then the hardware was pretty, pretty cheap. And now it's like crazy, you know. Uh, last year we have like three per one, and now we have four per one. Oh, so, so the inflation is actually going bad. Yes, bad. The, it's increasing every every day and uh, every week. Every week, each day is a surprise. So the pieces are are getting expensive each day, and okay. uh, and there's another problem because we have the the wage, you know, the minimum wage in Brazil is like uh, two hundred dollars. So it's yes per month, so it's pretty bad, and n not everybody here can can afford a uh, a great uh, configuration of hardware. So as uh, as I was telling yesterday to to Peter, uh, people in Brazil like to say, oh, I'm building a gaming machine, 
but they use like an Intel Core i3 and uh, GTX 960. And uh, sometimes they use only four gigabytes of RAM, you know, so... But still, the, it's the considered thing, as, a, as a gaming PC because that's what people yes, can afford. If they can run gaming, you know, even if it's 720p or uh, 1080p, so that's gaming for them. You know, we don't have the, this kind of culture here to build the best machine with uh, Intel Core i7 and GTX 980 because we can't afford that kind of thing. So, and and even when the guys can buy this, this kind of, of, of pieces, you know, uh, we have to pay like 10 months for one graph cards. So we split the value in 10 months and go paying bit by bit to, to afford the card. It's actually crazy that, if, that as you say, like the, 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 the wages and the, um, and, the, um, and the price of the hardware is actually quite... quite uh, no, it, it's, it's not easy for you guys to get hardware uh, in the first place. That we saw when we came here, um, we had to pay taxes to come in with this, the stream PC. Because the stream yes. PC is a very high-end PC and they didn't want it to let us enter the country without paying the taxes on it. So we had to pay the taxes on this one, even if it's ours and we are going back with it. So yes. that's that's actually something, you know, a bit a bit sad for you guys because that's limiting the access to the hardware as well. Yes, and we have taxes for everything, you know. The store has, has to pay taxes, then the customer has to pay taxes, then the distributor has to pay taxes, and there's the... So you like have the like import one tax, yeah, one taxes above another tax and above another tax, so it gets too expensive. And like, uh, how how much does it cost a uh, 98 uh, Ti in the Canada? I have no idea to be honest. Like uh, maybe five hundred dollars, something check. like that. So here in Brazil, a 98 Ti is like uh, one thousand dollars. Okay, so that's definitely more expensive. Yeah, and it's, that's it's, that's all only because of the taxes and the different system, or you have like everything that is. I I, I heard something like everything that is not produced in Brazil have higher taxes when it's getting into the country. Yes, yes, everything so have, from outside gets higher taxes. So you have the same issue with the the game console, I guess. Yes. So like when PS4 was launched in Brazil, it costs like a. Uh, 10 times more than in the United States. So the the launch price in the United States was like $400. And here we were paying the time like, uh, let me see, let me see. The currency was different in the, in the time, but it was like we were paying $1,000. So more than double to, to the same hardware, oh, you know? And, that's crazy. And, the, and we we could we could not blame the the shopping and the stores or anything else. It was just about the taxes. So, but when we get the Xbox One, it was manufactured in Brazil. Then we have a, a lower price. It gets the half price of the PS4. Okay, so actually that was a good move by Microsoft to actually produce the the console here. Yes, yes, it was a good move, but. To the customer, it's a bad thing because, you know, uh, the government was taking its part, and the customer has to to pay all the bills. Yeah, well, that's that's a different story uh, about like the government involvement in all that. And um, so so far, as it's getting quite pricey to um, to buy a computer here, uh, how is does the uh, hardware industry? Do you have local shops or everyone buy online? How does that work here? Well. Uh, in the past, we have a lot of more local shops, but the online shopping is growing pretty fast. It's crazy in Brazil. And we have one big store that even has a, an airplane dedicated just to deliver the shopping. So if you buy one piece, it can cross the country in like one day and it gets to your house in the, in the other day. So there, there's the, the those big stores in the internet here in Brazil, and okay, you know, that's you know, in, like in, in Black Friday, uh, those stores on the internet sells like like a lot of pieces. It's incredible, and the local stores gets just a little bit of of that sales. 
I see, but do you still have shops that uh, build computer and just uh, and, and send them to to the to their to their customers? Or now yes. you say it's mostly the e-tailers online. No, we have those those kinds of stores that build the, the machines and send them red to the to the customer. We have the local shops that do this kind of things and the online shopping. So uh, some stores has the their own setups that you can just choose some some parts and but in local stores you can choose all the parts so it depends from city to city but uh, most of the people used to buy this kind of machine in the e, e stores you know so what would be the uh, the average pc for the people here in brazil uh it's hard to say i, I guess we, we should uh, check the steam oh the steam survey yeah Yes, the Steam survey has the details, but maybe uh, I guess the average should be Intel Core i3. I don't know. So let's go check. Can we check by country? Yes, I guess there's there's an option on, on the filter. Manufacturer, number of CPU. Oh, I have language, but I don't have per country. Oh, I, I can't find per country. You know, uh, as we are talking yesterday, uh, some some hardware from AMD they are pretty accessible. So uh, graph cards from AMD sells sells a lot in here because of the price. But uh, as I as I was talking to you, the Nvidia graph cards has a lot of a lot of fame in Brazil. So people like to say, oh. Nvidia is better than buy Nvidia, even if it's expensive. But the people in here can't afford the the best cars of of the brands to say, oh, that's it, that's the Fury X and that's the 980i, you know. But I, I guess the the average should be Intel Core i3 and GTX 960. I don't know. So it's like hard a, to say. Like a like a low average, uh, like a low mid average PC. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's that. That would actually make sense on both the the, the price point and the availability as well. Because I'm sure that if you want to buy a 980 Ti here and you have the money for it, you might not be able to have it as fast as you want. Yes. And if a guy has the can can get to the store and say, "Oh, give me a 980 Ti," then he has the the money to buy an Intel Core i7 and uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM and so on. And but these are are few, uh, just a small, really small part. Indeed, uh, I, I, that that definitely makes sense. Um, so so far, how it is for you guys at Techmundo to cover this kind of uh, of content for the for your viewers? Uh, you know, uh, this kind of problem with the the price and the minimum wage and taxes uh, gets the the people in Brazil to to dream a lot the the better mm -hmm. components. So when we review a graph card like a 980i, let's say a classified, a uh, hybrid, you know, this uh, is like a, a dream to, to them. So they like to watch the videos, they comment a lot, and they say, oh my God, I really want one of that. But I want then, one, send me one. <laughs> yeah, send me one. But in the same phrase, they, they say, oh, this, this price is in, impossible, you know. So they like to watch, they like to, to see the results, but they, they can't afford. So we, we have great, uh, great public to, to both kinds of things, to the more accessible products. So when we test a 950, uh, it's one of the best sellers in Brazil, 950 and the 960. Then the guy says, oh, that's a good card because it runs the, all the games I want. Like, uh, and, and people here don't, don't play a lot of, of uh, extensive game, you know. Mostly, uh, I guess, have... uh, mostly League of Legends and Dota. Yes, Dota, League of Legends, and Minecraft, and so on. And this yeah, kind you, of game is really. You, you don't need a strong PC to play that, especially no. like LOL or Dota, that are like quite a few years that they are, the games are hard. So, <laughs> yeah, you don't need much of a good PC for it. So, you can, you can buy a 960 and play League of Legends in 4K. So, it's fine. <laughs> but. Uh, the harder thing is good to, to the website. Uh, people like to, to be interacted with all the news 
And it's not about the graphic card, so the CPU thing, the main boards, we have a lot of good components getting here every day. Uh, right now we are testing a system with Crossfire. So the the brand new gra graphic cards from AMD, the R9 380X, uh, it, it's, a, it's a, a new thing here in Brazil. I guess it's it gets like two months ago in the United States, but it's new in Brazil. So people are waiting to see this this kind of, of graphic cards. And but the our, our review is pretty simple. We we don't get much further in the de in details because uh, if we say oh the the kind of frame that's drawing here and the performance in here was changed because we have something in the CPU or in the memory that was delaying the graphic card. If you get in this kind of detail, people start to complain oh it, it's text and the the video is too hard to understand oh it's so, too much details uh... yes so we just test and get the average frame and get the temperatures and the the watts and uh, we get all in in a, in a small in a small resume you know just a little bit of text and get to the point you know so people can understand better the the review makes, it, I, I guess i guess that's sense. it <laughs> Perfect. It definitely makes sense to, to do it this way because most people will not read the complete reviews. Um, what I what I do like about reviews personally is to have like a like a summary of a very in deep review. And if I like the summary, I will go read the in deep review. But of course, yes. what takes most time is the in deep review and the results. So uh, yes. uh, especially when you're explaining in video, it's taking a lot of time. Yes, we get we get to the to this kind of review because uh, in the past we have these complete reviews with details in each game and uh, you know getting getting know about the architecture and everything but people start to complain so we get to the point and now we have just a summary and the benchmarks and the gaming and the uh, Power, power thing and the temperature and then the conclusion. Uh, it's better to to the to the people who are reading and it's better to us because we can produce a it you can produce faster. more article as well. Yes, and a small article and a small video. Uh, almost I I like could be like uh, eight or seven percent of the reviews we get on video too. Because people in Brazil are a little bit lazy, you know. They like to watch the video, to to don't have to read anything. So we get all the results put in in the video, and so they can get to the, to the point faster. Okay, I see. That's that's quite interesting to uh, that the, uh, the the people. And I guess they won't watch like a two hours video. Uh, all no, the no. The the video gets like uh, five minutes. Uh, that's the maximum, maximum. Yeah, that's maximum. Yes. So, yeah, we, we did talk about the games. So, uh, League of Legends, Dota. So, that's the two main games here, I guess. Uh, what kind of other games are being played in Brazil? Uh, I guess Counter Strike is still a big game. Counter Strike Global off Offensive. Uh, Battlefield, Star Wars is, is doing good right now. Uh, but you know, but we have Battle a Front. big difference. Star Wars yes, Battlefront. Battlefront. Yeah. Star Wars Battlefront. But right now, it's pretty new, but uh, Battlefront, and we have the problem that's uh, a game that requires uh, requires a, a lot of the computer. So with the machines we have in here, the guy can play very well Battlefront. So because they yeah, like to, it's, it's to stay with the yes, and uh, not all the people used to buy games on Steam. We have the the kind of culture that's still on the free free to play or freeware games, and I, I don't know the name of the games. That I like uh, I guess Crossfire is one of the games. Uh, it's pretty famous in Brazil. Uh, we have some RPGs, but uh, it depends on on the city, on the state. Uh, it's different to to each part of the play of the country because it's it's a really big country. It's all almost like the United States. We have uh, 200 million people in Brazil, 
And I don't know how much gamers are in Brazil, but you know, I don't have the, the statistics, but it should be fine to, to get then. I guess it's a, it's a great study. Yeah, and uh, about, uh, I think it's 222 million or 221 million people living in Brazil. Of course, there's going to be a million of gamers in this one, so just don't know how much yet. And yes. the, um, so, so pe people will use their, like, their desktop PC for gaming, mainly, I guess. Um, is that the trend, like in a lot of other countries, where people started to ditch the desktop PC and just use it for gaming, and everything else, they were using your laptop? Yes, yes, there's this kind of thing here in Brazil. And all the all the brands that uh, would sell notebook for gaming are not selling it anymore. So we have just only MSI and Avel selling notebook for gaming here in Brazil, laptops for gaming. And so it's, it's just two brands. And before we have like Asus, we have like uh, some some models from Alienware and now it's just two brands because people are willing to pay to play on the desktop because it's cheaper and the lap the laptops are just for working you know so oh, that's the thing so here people I guess will just look for like a yeah like a, a work notebook and uh, and uh, and the gaming desktop PC yes and we have the the thing about the mobile so a lot of people are willing to pay a little bit more on the smartphone or on the tablet to to have uh, and to have the computer only for work you know the i guess the casual gaming is a is a big thing in brazil and of course with two more than 200 million people uh, i guess that's every one of them almost yes. has a cell phone so at least 80 percent of the people have a cell phone like a smartphone they can install a game and so on so i guess that's maybe That's that's a huge market as well. Yes, the the market of uh, mobile, smartphones, tablets, it's pretty big in Brazil, uh, and we have like ninety four percent of Android smartphones, and four percent of Windows phones, and just one percent of Apple. Oh because, really? I would have expected that was much more, but that's maybe because of the price. Yes. So the iPhone gets here. Costing like uh, more than a thousand dollars. Everything and, is uh, more than a thousand dollar here. <laughs> yes, yes. And and the better smart <clears throat> smartphones like uh, Samsung Galaxy and LG G4 and all those kinds of of expensive smartphones doesn't make a lot of success in here. And the the cheaper phones like uh, Moto G and I guess Xiaomi. Oh, Do you have Xiaomi, Xiaomi in, in Canada? Canada? Not yet, not yet. No. We can we can buy like the Xiaomi van and so on. But well, if I want to Xiaomi, I just buy it in Taiwan. It's, okay. it's, it's easy f yes. for me. But in Canada, yes. we cannot buy the Xiaomi directly uh, right now. Um, I do like the the Mi Note 4, uh, by the way. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the the cheaper things here are like explosion of selling, and the expensive ones like iPhone. Uh, just one percent of the of Brazilian cons consum customers has those kind of smartphones. I, I was expecting to be to it to be more than that, but yeah, with the, with the price limitation and all the taxes on the on the import and so on, that makes sense that it's uh, quite limiting in, in the number of people that can access this kind yes, of uh, smartphone. Yes, uh, and in Brazil we have a, a different culture because uh, people in here doesn't care much about the experience, so. Maybe the iPhone gets a rich experience with a beautiful UI, but uh, people like to to see the specification. So in the iPhone, you get like a one gigabyte of RAM, a processor of two cores, and uh, a good graph gra graph card. But uh, you don't have like a, if you are comparing the the, the, the smartphones. For one guy, it is better for him to say, "Oh, I have the Zenfone 2 from Asus." It gets four gigabytes of RAM. It has four cores in the processor. So the numbers are are the thing for Brazilian, not the okay. experience. Okay, so here people will will judge more and choose more rather on the specification than the the experience. Yes. Yeah. That's actually that's actually the complete opposite in Canada. People will just uh, choose the um, Canada and most of Europe actually uh, will choose the experience over the specification. Yes.
Uh, Brazil is, is different because people like to think, oh, I'm smarter. I'm getting a better, uh, better phone, paying less. Uh, they don't care much about the interface or the experience. That's the problem. Okay, I see. Um, talking about like the experience and so on, um, let's go back to the uh, PC DIY and the, and the regular desktop PC. Is there a lot of modding community? Because we saw some of the mod behind us on, the, on some of the tables, but how is the modding community in Brazil? I guess the, the, the community here are, are really big. It's really big, the community in Brazil. Uh, but they just get together in this kind of events like Campus Party. We have a lot of discussion in the forums, but uh, I don't know the the projects are are, are a little bit uh, hidden from from the public. You know, you don't get it, uh, this kind of things in in Tecmund or in the other sites because the guys from the community don't don't came into to our website and, and show them. You know, there there's a space to to them to show. But uh, it usually we don't we just uh, public the, the this kind of thing only in campus party and this kind of event. Okay, when you have a gathering of all of them and yes, like this yes. Thing. But uh, the guys are really creative. Uh, I saw the the Thor machine, the Iron Man machine, and uh, the, the, the a lot Godfather more. The Godfather machine. Is that, is that yeah, the Godfather the, is the really Godfather beautiful. One is that bad, yeah. yeah, so. But but I, I don't know. I guess it it, it depends uh, on the city, on the on the public. Online we have a lot of forums, so people get together those websites. Uh, but I, I I can't say really. Oh, there's a lot of guys doing that. I don't know if there's a lot more than you have in there in Campus Party. Okay, for us, we saw a lot of uh, mudding uh, from time to yes, time. But yes, there's, the mudding there's a lot the in the Campus Party. But, but uh, I, I'm, I'm saying, I don't know if you have a lot more than that. No. Yeah, okay, I see. And um, talking about, uh, I don't think if you guys can hear the noise in the, in the background because it's very, very, very noisy here. There's everyone shouting and... and yes, and yes I'm events. hearing the noise. Maybe because of that, I'm shouting a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I kind of lost my question now. Damn it! <laughs> well, I, I'm gonna ask you another question then. Um, what do you think the trend of using a flash memory storage uh, will change in the industry? Because we used to have hard drive. Wait, we used to have slow hard drive. Then we had faster hard drive. Then we have slow capacity hard drive. Then higher capacity. But now it's like everyone thinks SSD. Uh, is that the same here? That everyone wants to go to SSD? Uh, I think in, in Brazil the, the trend is to bet on a smaller SSD, like uh, 120 gigabytes, just to run the system and the games, and then a uh, bigger HDD to store all the videos and music things. So I have the, this kind of configuration in my machine, and a lot of ga gamers like to, to do the same, because uh, if you if you are buying, uh, let's say, uh, 480 gigabytes SSD here in Brazil, you are paying like uh, $500. Okay. So it's it's a lot of money. It's like almost buying a graphic card of mm -hmm. uh, better than 97. Okay, so it actually makes sense. Uh, it is actually the same in uh, in other in other country where we do travel. That people want the SSD for the system and for the storage, they just buy a regular hard drive for it. Um, yes. But they they they, are, they had a lot of news that we might have soon SSDs with like maybe 1.6 terabyte, and that could be af affordable. Uh, I would say affordable. That means maybe not a hundred dollar, but. We after a few years, could drop to uh, to maybe like 250 or 300 dollars for that. So that that will change the that will change the market for sure. Yeah. And um, another question for you uh, at Tech Mundo. I saw that you have all the Tech Mundo TV. Uh, what are you guys doing for the TV? Is that the, just the same uh, kind of video you do when you do the reviews, or that's completely something else? Well, actually, the Tech Mundo TV is just for the internet. We don't show anything on television. 
So it's our content from the internet posted on YouTube and on Daily Motion in one place. So it's like, it's like the a television on the internet. But we don't have only the reviews. We have the reviews. We have hints to tips and hints to the smartphone market. So uh, let's say the 10 best gaming in adventure genre. So people like to to, to build this kind of thing in our website. Uh, and the smartphone is a uh, is one of the biggest part of the site. So when we are having in the United States the announcing of the iPhone 7, let's say. Uh, here in Brazil, we can have in our website like uh, two or three hundred thousand people watching the live event in Brazil. Oh, in our website. That's, that, that's yes. good. That's good. Yes, they are very interested in, in this kind of events. And and here you, you, you can say in the, in the screen, oh, here's the one of the the articles I just posted. Asus tricks. Oh, this one? You, yes. I just posted this. And we have the, the text, but we also have the video. Because people like to, to see the video. Oh, okay. Uh, so have, so yeah, we have yeah. almost the same content in both places. Okay, and are you doing the video? Is that a completely separate other team at Taekwondo? No, no, there's one team just to record the video. I just write the article and the script to, to the video and the tests. So we have then one team to make the, the pictures. You see those pictures in, inside the, the text. Mm -hmm. the, the design team makes the pictures and the video team makes the video review. And I just write the article and the script. Okay, so that's actually a quite um, well organized, um, organized publication. Because you are one of the biggest websites for technology in, in Brazil. Yes, yes. We have uh, like uh, one million, maybe more than that page views per day. That's great. So and there's all the news about the world tour. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. And when I we think started the, the other streaming. And I think we I, can I we can see ourselves in the live as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be infinite loop. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> so yeah. um, for, so you're covering a lot of different events like the campus party. You're covering the news, uh, like the like the, the hardware news, the the cell phone news, and so on. Um, it, Today, I, I guess that you like your job because you you enjoy doing this and you're doing that for us. It's quite late here. It's like almost almost 10 p.m. So, yes. um, <laughs> what is the what is the, the best thing you you have in your job? What what does motivate you every day to do it? Uh, I guess the the feedback from from the public to from the viewers and all the contacts uh, I can I can have with all the great brands, you know. I can, if I want to talk directly to AMD or Intel or ASUS or any other brand, I can talk. Uh, just open the Facebook and there's the contact. You know, uh, this kind of thing motivates us because we, we, we are like friends, you know. We are the media and they are the, the manufacturers, but we have a great relationship. And the public in Brazil uh, really like the, the kind of harder thing. And we have, it's just not about the, the playing public, you know, they are not the, in, the, in the new just to say low, 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 and who, who, you know, just to, to make this kind of noise. They are in the harder news to post, uh, oh, these are a good CPU, this is a, I, I bet that AMD is better, better than now than NVIDIA and so on. So people really like to argument on, on, the, on the topic. Yes. And I guess this motivates me every day. Well, that's uh, quite interesting to, uh, to see that you're always motivated for your work. And of course, as you say, um, as the press and the, and, and the manufacturers, everyone is quite close. And this industry is actually quite small, to be honest. It's really easy to see someone in the company move to another company a few months after and and, and find them maybe two or three years after in some somewhere completely different but yes, still in yes. the same IT industry. Yes, yes. 
this, I, this I, was happened to, I was talking to a, to a friend today. He was from MSI, and now he's working at AMD. So it's cool because it's the same guy, you know. I have the contact, but he's now in a different place. But we can talk anything, you know. It's it's very good. Yeah, that's that sounds fun. Actually, to, to be honest, I have you no know, the the way I know Peter and Timothy. That that came although from this industry as well. I have uh, to know this like this. I'm sure you have a story like this. A very good friends that um, they get that. No, became friends because you had them in the industry and then they, they stick around for a long time. Well, I think that's going to be it for uh, for today. Thank you, Fabio, for being with us. Yes. That was uh, that was nice discussion to know about what the people here in Brazil would expect from yeah, either, this kind my, of video. It was my pleasure. It was oh. a nice, nice chat. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. And for you guys watching this at home, don't forget that tomorrow, uh, depending where you live, but at 1 p.m. local time on the 29th, so that's going to be tomorrow from here, we will start the uh, live final for the HWBOT World Series for Amateur. That's going to be only the Amateur that will compete. And that will be quite interesting to see. I will be commenting live from Sao Paulo with uh, Fabio that is right here with us that will be in English and Portuguese so you can tune in at uh, tomorrow 1 p.m. here on twitch.tv until then you can always go on the uh, to post on the giveaway and you can find that on overclocking dash tv forward slash raffle and oops that wasn't the right one and uh, until next time you can also find us on the social media forward slash overclocking tv on Facebook Twitter Instagram and YouTube thank you Fabio for your time tonight yes. And I'll see Thank you tomorrow. You. Yes, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye.